It's time for another Dice Tower review from Gamer's Remorse. Hello and welcome back to Gamer's Remorse. Today we're going to take a look at Pirate Masters, a set collecting card game currently on the Game Crafter. Shall we play? Yar! In Pirate Masters, players take on the role of pirates assembling a crew, treasure map, and booty. Players are dealt seven cards and elect who goes first, and then continue clockwise. Each turn begins with the active player drawing two cards and taking up to three actions, either playing a card to their collection before them or playing an action card. Play thus continues until one player has a complete set of captains, treasure maps, jewels, and a total of 30 gold in their treasure chest. At the end of your turn, if you have more than 9 cards, you return the excess cards to the bottom of the draw pile. If you have no cards, then on your next turn you draw 5 cards as opposed to 2. Alright, so I start off by drawing 2 cards. Alright, so I am going to play... It's really not fun being first player because you're going to get picked on a lot. Yep. <laughs> So here's a treasure map. Here's a jewel. Dragon Slayer. And here is another treasure map. The blue seas. And it is on to Eric. Play that there. It's going to be really bad for me because I'm not going to be able to read what I'm actually playing. It's all good. In the hood. Okay. All right, I'll play. We really should have gone. Two famous caves like this. <laughs> How awesome would that have been? Or, oh, or Long John Silver's. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been even better. Okay. I'm gonna ruby. I'm gonna pearl. All blue seas. Ooh. Go ahead, Things Sean. are getting intense. Intensity in ten cities. We're gonna go with a ruby, 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 ruby. Do 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 do. I'm gonna play Captain Short Joe Gold, and then Captain Gunpowder Gertie. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's two thirds Whoa. of the way to his captain. <laughs> Diamonds are forever. Well, the women's best friend as well. They are. <laughs> Was that two? Yes. Diamonds. I wouldn't mind splitting the piles to make it easier, but I feel like that would really change mm -hmm. how the game is played. If half of it has taxes, then... Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only one more diamond in the entire deck. Sean. Play this and be a joke. Like, to... uh oh, snap. Sean. Yeah, not me this time. Why would you play it on me? Ooh, oh, this game. Actually, actually, I'm going to undo. Oh, you're not going to Control escape? Control Z. I'll just skip my oh, next turn. Alright, All right, I'm going to Mermaid. And I'm going to do something you should never do. I'm going to give Sean a map that he needs in exchange for a ruby that I don't need. You do need it. Nope, I already have a ruby. Oh, it's just worth six? However, I'm king's taxing Sean. Add up all your jewel cards. Collect. Oh, no, I shouldn't tax Sean because I know he has an escape. Right. I am taxing <laughs> Eric. Like, okay. And so, that's what I saved the escape yeah. for. So I'm taxing Eric. So half of my rubies worth of gold. So Eric, you owe me eight gold worth of stuff. <coughs> wow, I should have splashed the pot. <laughs> Thank you kindly, good sir. I hate you. Buccaneer. <laughs> Ooh, is that all? Okay, no. no. Three out of four. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buccaneer this guy. You. Yeah. I'm gonna play another gold down. One. Yeah. Ooh, that's a full set. Is it? No. Yeah. Of watch? Sure. Of captains. Should have oh. stole one of those. Yeah, kraken! Release the Kraken! Two. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Does he have a whatchamacallit? I do, but it's not worth that. Take okay. it. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> Um, one card for me to... Do you want to take the cards from my hands? Eric. Do you want to take them from my hands? Eric. He's thief and denying you. What? For shame. One, two. Buckle my shoe. 
Boom, full set. What? Clocking it. We're gonna do this. So blind man's bluff oh, or no blind worry. pirate's bluff. I have one. We're gonna go with your cards because you've been sitting on them while. I'm hoping you have a card that I've been waiting for. Uh, more than likely no. Rocking. <laughs> Curses. I will take this one. You can have that one. So you gave him one gold, probably. Yep, and you got it. <laughs> yep. Now I'm going to play. Now I can see why Aaron hated this game. Three. Ooh, is that what you needed? <laughs> I'm gonna guess I've time to play a card. Actually, I've had that since the beginning of the game. I've oh, had all three of those. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna do that. Ooh, is that the one you're looking for? Turd. You're all you little jerk. Kind of little jerk. Revenge. Mm. Is that what you took from Aaron? No. Let's do this. <laughs> one, two. Go down. Pirate. You ever seen a pirate get down? Three Rocking from everyone. to the new school south. Go pirate, go pirate, go. Go pirate, go pirate, go. Wait, I have three gold? Yeah. yeah. Go, Just build go, my buffer. Go, go. Get change for a ten? Just kidding. Pirates don't give change. Put that under there. Oh yeah, you lose your turn. Mm-hmm. All right, so I played an emerald and a diamond, and now I'm in a king's tack. I add up all my jewels. jewels. I half it. Oh. Everyone owes me that much. So that's... Be glad Ben didn't have it. Mm -hmm. So that's 6, 12, 18, 20, 10. 10. Everyone, owes me 10. Everyone owes me 10. Booty cards. You and your drawing. All right. Thief in the night. Take two cards from any other player's hand. I only hand. have one. I took from Eric last time. Brian only has no, one. No, no. Ben, you hate me already, so it all kind of works out. <laughs> no, 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 no. You no. already hate me, so I'm gonna get you some more. This one and this one. How many cards do you have? A lot. Oh, you didn't have a turn, so you wouldn't have had to. Oh, because at yeah. the end of your turn, if you have nine. Yeah, yeah. and we're done. I don't think this hurt you that much. So <laughs> it was a lot better than it could have been. We're good yeah. there. Red coats are coming. Okay. And, so and, three, uh, and T. Three oh, collisions. out of all your treasure maps and collect. Oh, it's any, any, other, any, any other player. player. Okay. Um, so let's go with Sean. So three? three. Just three. three. Just three. Four gold pieces. Pieces of eight, if you will. Okay. And then we're going to play on. Oh, play on Eric. Oh. I tried not to do it to say for twice in a row. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and review. Uh, Brian, I want to hear what you have to say first. Yeah. Right now, I'm just gonna jump straight to my rubric and see how this scored. Uh, visuals out of two, I'm giving it 0. 0.5. There's just so many art styles that it's weird. If any one of those art styles carried through the whole game, it would have been awesome. And then some of the card texts blended into the background because you couldn't read all of it unless you're squinting and very intentional. So that's why it only got a .5 there. Uh, skill to luck out of one, I'm giving this a .5. I almost gave it a zero, but I was like, no, there's some luck, kind of, but it really comes a lot to what you draw. That's okay, except in a long game that's so cutthroat, that can be terrible. For the pacing, I'm gonna give that a one out of two. It doesn't go super long because you are limited to what you can do. But the more players you add, then the slower the game goes. With two players, it was fantastic. Very back and forth. Um, with three players, I think it would be good. With four players, it was getting along. With five players, you could go bake a cake in between your turns. Theme and immersion, I'm gonna give that a one. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was very backstabby, which I think is great for a pirate game. But I didn't feel like a pirate. I felt like a guy who's upset that my friend played a card on me and I wanted revenge. But before I could get revenge, another guy played a card on me, so he just wanted revenge against everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, which again, that's great for pirates, but I didn't feel like a pirate. I felt like an angry guy in a pirate hat. <laughs> uh, mechanics, I'm gonna get that a point five. I enjoyed how some of the cards worked, but some of them were way overpowered. Yeah. You could draw a pirate card where you got three golds from a person, or you could draw a pirate card where you got 25 gold from a person. Uh, it's just not balanced well. Um, was it fun? I'm giving that a one out of two. Initially, it was super fun. Mm -hmm. The first three or four rounds, I was having a blast. At the end of the game, I'm sitting here going, why didn't it end 20 rounds ago? Um, there's just so much you need to acquire to end the game, and so many people fighting over such limited resources that it just keeps going and going and going. Um, so all in all, I gave it a four and a half out of 10. Mm -hmm. 
Sean, what are your thoughts? So I agree with a lot of what Brian said. Uh, I'm just gonna go right to my rubric in that case. Quality of component, I'm gonna give it a 0.5. I had originally said, I'll give it a one point. He had five different artists working on it. It kind of makes sense that he had a bunch of different art styles, but it went beyond that. Even some of the fonts, I mean, they don't quite map up. This mm -hmm. one, almost a penmanship type mm -hmm. thing, whereas this is like a Times New Roman. It, it just seemed weird to me. Mixed art styles are never a good choice just because it looks like the game isn't the same game. Good balance of skill to luck, and I'm giving it a 0.5 because there was some skill in regards to, these are the cards I have, I need to make the most out of what they are. I'll hold on to this Kraken one until the time is right. But at the same time, people are drawing, all right, give me 25 gold. And you have, you know, your whole uh, ship and crew is worth seven. So, I mean, what, what does that mean? You yeah. have to give up three sets in order to give them this 25 gold. That, uh, it needs balancing. Analysis paralysis, I give that a 0.5 just because as Brian said, sometimes you can go pretty fast with it, but other times if you have nine cards in your hand, you're weighing different options. A lot of decisions that need to be made there. Theme, uh, 1.5 I think. Pirates are a very good theme. So you're going to all these cool places. You have treasure maps to all these cool mm. places. You're going for gold, you're going for jewels. That all made sense. Thrill vs. Competitive 0 to 2, I did give that a 2 because I found it extremely competitive. I would almost consider giving it 1.5 because it was too much so. Too competitive? Right, well, I mean, the mechanics didn't play well with how cutthroat it mm -hmm. was. It was unbalanced, as Brian had said. Um, but I'll leave that as a two. And was it fun? I'll give it a one because of the fact that when playing two players, it actually is quite a lot of fun and the game can move quite fast. 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I would probably say yeah. for that. When you play in a five player game, we had one guy playing with us before we even started and he just said, well, I'm, this is enough for me for the night. I'm going home. But overall, I think this game has a lot of promise. They need to work on balancing. They need to redo their artwork. Um, the rules actually weren't that bad. Eric, what do you think? <laughs> Did, did, do I recall you rage quitting halfway through? Yep. So Ben, what did you think? <laughs> Wait, give it a number first. <laughs> Two. Two. Uh, one <laughs> first shot in this pistol. <laughs> yeah. Been, been yeah, I was not a huge fan. Um, like everyone else, that is just totally random how people attacked. Uh, I didn't like how you kind of felt like you had to attack each person every turn, like switch it every turn. If you felt bad if you attacked the same person twice in a row. Um, Did you like it more before I attacked you and took all your stuff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, like Brian said, the first like six, seven turns were fun. I mm -hmm. thought it was pretty fun the first mm -hmm. 20 minutes or whatever it was. But then when someone attacks you, like I attacked Eric or how Brian attacked mm -hmm. me or whoever it was, it just made it a lot less fun. You lose all your stuff. Yeah. So I'd probably give it a four. Four out of ten for me. And I okay. remember at one point you mentioned... You know, I kind of enjoy this game. Like two turns yeah. later, you're like, yeah, I'm it, looking forward to this that's, end. That's too fast. It shouldn't change yeah. that fast, I don't think. So, but Anyways, uh, that's Pirate Masters. Not so much so, Masters. Until next time, avoid the scurvy, try not to walk the plank, and always keep an eye on your parrot. What's the point of the game again? <laughs> <laughs> What's the goal you mean? Yes. The point is to entertain ourselves. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs>